What is up you guys? I am Missy Renee and in today's video we're doing part three of my manifestation success stories because who does not love some good success stories? So if manifestation and conscious creation are topics that you are interested in learning more about then definitely do not forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that thumbs up button that will tell the YouTube algorithm to put this video in front of more people so that more people can get this life-changing motivation. If you are interested in more resources such as working with me one-on-one -on -one, or any of my courses or my brand new group coaching program, I will have links and information down in the description box below. So definitely do not forget to check that out. I know this video has been long awaited and I've gotten many, many requests to follow up in this series. So asketh and you shall receive. And I truly believe that success stories can be such an important part of this journey. It can be such a helpful tool, especially in those moments where things may feel a little wobbly, when you may feel like you're not standing on solid ground. There are moments that we have where we just need a little bit more support. We just need a little bit of that motivation to keep us going. So utilized correctly, these can be an amazing resource for you guys. And over the years, I have had literally hundreds of people that have written in with their success stories. So these are just a few in what will be an ongoing saga and next time it will not be as long of a wait until I release the next one. So if you enjoy some good success stories, if you are in need of some motivation to help you find the strength, to help you find that encouragement to keep going, then you're definitely going to want to stick around to the end of the video because we're going to dive into some of the stories that people have written in about their success with the law. Not SP related, but a miraculous story nonetheless. A year and a half or so ago, I was new to the law and had just started working with Missy when I received heartbreaking news. My sister and her husband were expecting and had gone in for her 20 week anatomy scan and the baby was diagnosed with having trisomy 18, a rare but debilitating disorder where most don't survive birth, but those who do face heart defects, kidney problems, clubbed feet, and several developmental delays. Needless to say, my heart shattered when my sister called me sobbing that afternoon. I spent the rest of the day in a haze, but that night I remembered my last session with Missy discussing revision, and I knew in that moment what I had to do. I turned away from the 3D and assumed that it was all a mistake and that everything was okay. I just couldn't perceive a reality in which that baby wasn't healthy. And two days later, my sister called me in complete disbelief. She got her blood results back from that fateful day, which should have confirmed the horrible news, but everything came back healthy and completely normal. There were no signs of trisomy 18 nor anything for that matter. It turns out that they had scheduled her 20 week scan early at only 17 weeks. Due to this mix up, according to the doctor, it was likely that the baby's brain hadn't fully developed and those dark spots that had showed up on the scan that doctors feared was trisomy 18 were just places where the brain hadn't fully matured yet. She returned for another sonogram at her actual 20 week date and found out she was having a little girl and that everything appeared healthy and on track. She continued going in for her scans throughout the pregnancy and all continued to confirm that her sweet little baby was just perfect. This month, my niece turned one years old and she's perfectly healthy and happy. As Missy always says, don't ever underestimate how powerful we really are. P.S. About two or so months later, after the revision, I did wind up manifesting my SP and we're still together and happier than ever. This one is incredible, absolutely incredible. And just as I keep hammering about, it goes to show you how powerful revision really is. Do not underestimate that one, guys. I've read so many wonderful success stories and finally, it is now my turn to write one. I'll keep the breakup details short. My boyfriend and I broke up in late fall of 2021. 
First, I spent a whole lot of time blaming myself and trying to figure out how to get him back. And then shortly after the breakup, I discovered Neville's teachings and Missy's channel. And things have just been progressing and growing ever since. What I did was first and foremost, I cleaned up my mental diet like crazy, watching my thoughts like a hawk. I would get lost in my imagination throughout the day, like I was going away into my own little world where everything was beautiful and perfect. Anytime I had an inkling of doubt, I crushed that little bugger. I'd say things like, he is reaching out to me more, or he is planning our dates. And you know what happened? Everything changed in a matter of days. Now he's texting me first and calling me every day. We're setting up dates three to four times a week. And he tells me all the sweet things that I had imagined and makes me feel so incredibly loved. A few days ago, he asked me to be exclusive and not to see other people. Last night, I met his parents for the first time when we went over for dinner. They kept telling him how lovely I am and how cute we were together, just like my affirmations confirmed. Things are night and day better than when we first started dating. It's like living a perfect dream. Be confident in yourself always because you are the one creating the world around you. To everyone who's having doubts about their manifestation, allow me to be an example of the power of the teachings of Neville. I had been trying to manifest my SP for over two years. Yes, you heard that right. Everything started out perfectly, but sure enough, my insecurities eventually started showing up, as well as my negative beliefs about relationships. I won't go into detail as it doesn't matter. Suffice it to say that my insecurities took a toll on both of us, and he left me. In the beginning, I couldn't let him go. I needed him in my life as a reassurance against my insecurities. I was taking things way too seriously and wasn't having any fun at all. Trust me when I say it was absolutely hell. Well, I was a hot mess after the breakup. <laughs> Those insecurities I mentioned? Yeah, they ramped up like they just took steroids. I was desperate for relief, for help, for anything to feel better. I scoured the internet and by the sake of the blessed YouTube algorithm, I found Missy's channel. She resonated. So I figured it's long past time to fix my shit and I reached out to work with her. I was blown away at what I learned. She clearly explained all the ways in which I was doing it wrong, lol, and gave me clear guidance on what I needed to do to begin to put the broken pieces of my life together. So I set out to do just that. It was not always easy. There were times I would be fighting with my own mind. There were times that that anxiety and that depression tried to come back with a vengeance. But stubborn as a bull, I persisted. And I am so thankful that I did. Fast forward a couple months, and mind you, I am feeling so much better at this time already. I finally felt like I had life again. Things were a little bit brighter, not so dull. I was driving home from work when, lo and behold, my SP called me. I was stunned. For a brief moment, I debated what to do. Quickly, I got it together though, and I picked up the phone. Over the course of the next half an hour on that phone call, he confirmed everything that I had been imagining. He wanted to get back together, that he loved me, that he couldn't stop thinking about me. All of that I heard him say, nearly word for word. This was about six months ago, and we are better than ever. He is truly my best friend, and I am grateful for him every day. Yeah, you know those insecurities I told you about? They totally took a hike. I feel so blessed and so confident and so grateful every day for the incredible life that is unfolding for me. I see clearly now the power of our beliefs and the power that we have as the creator in our world. I wielded this power stupidly once and so help me, I will never make that mistake again. To all of you that may be reading this, trying to manifest your specific person, remember that there is no one to change but self. You hold the key in your reality. Persist in that new assumption. Persist in the new reality. Live it, feel it, breathe it, and experience it in imagination as much as possible and to the best 
that you can and just as certain as the sun will come up tomorrow you will see your desires come to fruition as well not gonna lie i've always been skeptical of videos like this but i tried my best to really focus on her with this meditation and believe it or not after almost two months of not speaking she texted me back saying she missed me trust me when i say this spiritual energy is real focus on your imagination and believe with every fiber of your being that it'll come true if any men are reading this, bro, please at least try this vid. I'm telling you, just believe in it and it'll work. Thank you for the vid, by the way. Sending good energy to anyone reading this. My SP broke up with me last summer and left me for her ex. At that point, we had been very serious and were even talking plans of getting married. The breakup came like a freaking train and hit me out of nowhere. It felt like someone had ripped my heart clean out of my chest. To make matters worse, it felt like she didn't care at all. There was no remorse, just very cold and matter of fact like. Then she went ahead and blocked me from everywhere. I had zero closure. Needless to say, I was completely and utterly hopeless. I don't even remember how I found Macy's channel. Those days were such a depression fog. But her calm, matter-of-fact demeanor was so comforting, and before I knew it, we were working together. Boy, did I find out all sorts of fun things about myself. Talk about an awakening. I soon realized exactly how I molded my world to create this inevitable outcome. I had so many deeply buried beliefs around myself and around relationships, and my overall feelings were of unworthiness and not being good enough. I was kind of a sad sack, if I'm being completely honest. Not anymore though. I made a vow and with Missy's guidance, I set out to go scorched earth on the old man. I started my days with a gratitude meditation, which admittedly was not easy at first. With practice though, it did get easier. Throughout the day, I kept watch over my mental diet and weeded out anything that came up that resembled fear or doubts. I started having inner conversations with friends and family, confirming what I desired to hear, that I was smart, that I was confident, successful, etc. I played congratulatory scenes on the regular, hearing everyone confirm that I was now the person that I wanted to be. I started seeing clearly how I manifested such a cold, heartless breakup. My abandonment fears had been growing for months, and I kept having terrible thoughts that she was going to leave, that I wasn't worth her time, and that she would leave me for her ex, etc. I take full responsibility for this outcome, as I expected her to act like she did and I had held the belief that this wouldn't last, and that she'd realize I wasn't right for her. I said to myself, I'm going to work on loving myself and remembering how worthy and amazing I am. About a month or so of this, and I wake up at 4 a.m. to my phone dinging, and lo and behold, it's her. She said she's sorry, and she never actually stopped loving me. We met the next day. She cut it off with her ex a few days prior and just kept saying over and over how sorry she was, how much of a mistake she had made letting me go, just like I imagined her to say. It happened so quickly, too. I didn't expect it to happen so damn quickly. So yeah, guys, this stuff works wonders. I'm in awe, but at the same time, it feels like it would have happened anyways. I did all the wrong things, too. Trust me. I repeated the old story a lot, but caught myself and moved it to a perspective of, it's just the old story. None of that stuff matters anyways. So yeah, I'm still kind of shocked, but at the same time, it feels natural. It's bizarre, but also very empowering. Honestly, finding Missy and Neville and the law was the best day of my life. I have discovered a great power within me that I can use to make my life better and better in every way possible. Lots of love to everyone. And don't forget you hold this power as well. If my broken ass impossible situation can work itself out, I promise that yours can too. 
<laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. And these are just a few of the many, many, many successes I have seen over the years. I have seen things that should be impossible. I have seen what looks like heaven and earth move to create that bridge and unfold it in the way so that it perfectly manifested the desired outcome. One of the most common questions that I get asked is, can I manifest if XYZ happened? And no matter what the circumstance was, no matter what it is, no matter what it looks like, I don't care what the hell happened. I don't care if you two are light years away, not on speaking terms, you can run the gamut on me. The answer is always gonna be the same. And that is a resounding yes, of course it is possible. Because all things are possible, because all things already exist. Your desired outcome is already a real reality, just waiting for you to step in and experience it. So I hope that this gave some of you a boost if needed. I hope that this has lit a fire to persist in that wish fulfilled, persist in that desired outcome, because whatever you can imagine, you can experience. Once you tap into this, once you go all in, you buy that pearl and you don't take no for an answer and you persist despite whatever the 3D circumstances look like, once you do that, that is when you start to see everything unfold. And that is how you manifest anything that you want. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, do not forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, do not forget to check out my other resources, such as one-on-one -on -one coaching, my blog, my workshops and courses, my podcast, my social channels. I got all of that stuff down in the description box below. So definitely, definitely check it out. Also, do not forget to check out these videos over here. Each video is a different topic, but they all talk about how to manifest the best life ever. So until we meet next time, you guys, take care, be well, and never forget how powerful you truly are. <laughs> Happy manifesting, guys.